After seeing so many stellar reviews of this seemingly simple pilot watch, I finally thought, right, I've got to buy it and see for myself what the fuss is all about. And as I was just about to pull the trigger, so to speak, and it is a true story, here comes an email from Boltony marketing team telling me how much they admire my wonderful YouTube channel and would I like to review one of their watches? Ok, I might have added a bit about the wonderful channel, but I definitely agreed to review this watch. And now it is finally here, so let's see if this watch really deserves all the praises being sung to it on the interweb. Hello and welcome back! Before we jump into this video, a quick reminder to subscribe so you don't miss any future reviews. You probably saw the pop-up, yes, this watch was kindly sent to me by Baltany and I don't have to send it back. In return, as usual, I will provide a comprehensive review of this timepiece and there will be links to the Baltany website and to the product listings in the description of this video. This is of course a homage to a Thai B Flieger, a pilot watch style adopted by German watch manufacturers during the Second World War. These pilot watches did come in two styles based on the dial layouts, Type A with a large Arabic numerals hour markers and Type B with a large minute markers instead of the hours, and the hour markers were moved to a small inner ring. Now, if we look closely at this particular watch, Baltany decided to leave the hour markers out altogether, which I think is quite an interesting design decision, resulting in a better organized and somewhat uncluttered dial, which, truth to be told, has a lot going on. Also, historically, Flieger watches were quite large. As a matter of fact, the original designs were 55 mm in diameter. These days, even the original Flieger manufacturers don't go that large. Apparently, bigger is not always better, so these days we are likely to see timepieces sized anything from 43 mm down to even 36 mm in diameter. Baltany went with 39 mm diameter here, which is very wearable for most resizes, while still keeping the original aesthetics of the pilot watch. Before we go over the specifications, I think it is worthwhile to mention the packaging, which is a bit different from the usual super budget cardboard boxes I get from some vendors. So, Baltany ships this watch in this compact and robust package. It is a well put together quality case that can be definitely reused as a travel case in the future, if need be. In terms of what else is included, well, we have a user manual, a cloth, strap changing tool, and a signed two year warranty card. So, Definitely some level of care went into sending this one out. Now, in regards to the price, Baltany offers this watch for 148 US dollars on their website, which, taking into account that this is not a direct clomage, sort of speak, that is, there is definitely an element of original design in this timepiece, so 148 US dollars price tag doesn't look out of place. Now, of course, there is way more than just design that dictates the price tag, and that's what we will be examining next. Also, Boltony has a good presence on AliExpress, and if you are a hardcore bargain hunter, I would recommend keeping an eye on their prices during various AliExpress sales. Ok, let's go over dimensions and specifications. As I already mentioned, we have a 39mm diameter case with 20mm lugs. Case height is 12.2mm, nice and slim, and it should comfortably slide under a cuff. Lug tip to lug tip is 46.5mm, really versatile and makes this watch suitable to pretty much most resizes from 6 inches and up. On the supplied leather strap, this watch weighs only 68 grams. The supplied leather strap should cover up to 8.25 inch wrist or 21cm in circumference, but of course, having a 20mm lug size, there are plenty of strap options available and this watch will look great on NATO or even on the boom strap. Case. Well, we have a 316 L stainless steel case here with bead blasted finish. One thing that struck me about this watch was the overall quality of the execution. The finishing is very consistent throughout all the case surfaces and the transitions between the facets are crisp and well defined. The flat case back combined with well curved locks makes this watch quite comfortable. The screw down crown and screw down chronograph pushes are well proportioned and executed really well too. 
The stereo back case has the same finishing as the rest of the case and it is also screw on, so we should have a good level of dust and water resistance. Baltany actually declared 100 meters of water resistance gear, so we can even swim in this watch. Just don't forget to screw down those pushes nice and tight before going anywhere near the water with this chronograph. Crystal. Well, we have a very clear, ever so slightly curved double dome sapphire crystal here. I guess the combination of high polished hands, good clear sapphire crystal and good quality anti-reflective coating gives this watch that nice premium look. And at some viewing angles makes the crystal almost disappear. Definitely not something we see often at this price point. Dial. As I mentioned at the start of this video, Baltany went with the classic B-type Flieger layout, but with a bit of a twist. We still have prominent minute numerals, but no inner circle with our markers. Instead, Baltany created sufficient real estate to accommodate chronograph subdials and a date window, and yet not making this somewhat busy dial look cluttered. We have a nice deep black dial background, the minute chaptering and all the markings are printed. We have a kind of aged patina color on the 5 o'clock interval markers and minute and hour hands, while the rest of the printing on the dial is done in white. Irrespective of the color, all the markings and hands are loomed, but we will check out the loom in detail in a moment. Putting the dial under the macro lens, we can see how clean and crisp the dial execution is. We have a data 3 o'clock position together with a branding, it creates a kind of visual counterbalance to the subdial at 9 o'clock. The subdials are ever so slightly recessed, which adds a bit of a depth to the predominantly flat printed dial. We have SWAT type hands, including on the three subdials. The hands are not multifaceted, but still finished very well and bounce the light really nicely. The needle second hand stretches well to the edge of the dial. The ring-shaped second hand counterbalance adds a bit of an interest to the otherwise very perfect useful tool-looking watch dial. And the splash of red on the tip of the second hand breaks the color of the mostly monochrome dial and adds to the second hand legibility. It is a chronograph, after all. In general, I think the dial is very legible, despite having a lot going on on it. Layout is well thought through and all the elements are well proportioned. And of course, being a pilot watch, we would expect a decent loom application. And Boltony didn't disappoint. We have a bicolor loom BGW9 and something Boltony called retro colored loom. Initially, both colors are quite bright. However, within about 10 minutes, the intensity steadily goes down and flat lining into a low glow, with hands being somewhat brighter than the markers, which is acceptable from a legibility perspective. What I mean, it is a much better option than having bright markers and invisible hands. And we definitely need to mention the movement. Boltony used the Seiko Mecha Quartz VK67 movement here. As the name suggests, this movement comprises a quartz module for the time accuracy and a mechanical module responsible for chronograph operation. The result is a combination of best of both worlds. Quartz time accuracy and a mechanical smooth sweep of a chronograph second hand. And being a quartz-based movement, it is battery-powered, and one battery should last us about three years with a normal operation. Also, this specific movement has a 12-hour chronograph accumulator, so the subdial at 12 o'clock counts chronograph minutes up to 60 or 1 hour, and the subdial at 9 o'clock counts the hours up to 12. And the subdial at 6 o'clock is a running seconds indicator. Now, the question I always get asked in the reviews of the Mecha Quartz movement – what will happen if I leave the chronograph running? Will it run forever? Well, I tested it so you don't have to, and the answer is… no. Once the subdial at 9 o'clock completes the full circle, that is, finishing counting 12 hours, the chronograph will stop. But for 12 hours, it will run continuously. Of course, you can always restart it if you so desire. Bracelet. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, Baltany supplied a really good quality leather strap here. 
The leather is nice and pliable and will require very little, if any, breaking in. It is also sealed on the sides, which adds water resistance. We also get a stainless steel buckle here, which also has a bit blasted finish, like the case of this watch, which is good. However, also like the case of this watch, there is no branding or any markings inside either. Ok, so what's my verdict? Well. I have to admit that this seemingly simple timepiece definitely won me over in these few days that I was preparing this review. Very clean execution, well thought through design, good attention to detail and in terms of clarity and air coating, I am not sure what the heck they used on this crystal, but it is one of the better quality I've seen, at least in the $500 price range and I hope it comes through in this video. So. I guess the positive reviews are quite justified and the price tag is competitive indeed for what we get here. However, I still wouldn't mind seeing some kind of branding outside the dial on this watch, like maybe a signed crown or engraved back case or at very least signed buckle. Other than that, this is a really well designed and well put together timepiece, true to the military pilot aesthetics and with commendable build quality. And if you want to see more military watches, well, I will put the link probably over here or maybe over here. Check them out. I hope you find this review helpful and if you do, do hit that like button to activate that notorious YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching, take care and I will see you in the next one.